John Paul Arsenault is 53 and lives on the street. Many nights he walks around Fredericton because there's no safe place for him to rest, going consecutive nights without sleep. The concrete gets kind of cold at night. And not so many uh, grassy knolls to uh, lay upon, you know. I'm just kind of lost for words right now. I'm kind of speechless. It's, I don't know really how to word it, but I don't think I did anything that bad life to uh, put myself where I am right now. His story is one of many who are living rough in New Brunswick. According to the Human Development Council, 560 people are homeless in the province, 433 of them chronically homeless. That's the population of the rural community of Boystown and the village of Alma combined. Those numbers don't include those who are precariously housed like couch surfing or finding other means of shelter. Advocates estimate the number is close to 1,100. It feels like they're forgotten New Brunswickers, that it doesn't matter, that that's not the top of the priority list. Two people have died as winter creeps its way in, one of an overdose, the other inside a tent. Advocates say drug addiction and mental health issues are major factors contributing to the homelessness issue. Those individuals, you can pretty much target back to a mental health issue and and really the our our problem and our concern has been for years is that there's not a robust a robust enough system within mental health to deal with with the the issues that we're seeing every day inside the shelter and out. Over time, advocates say people have become detached from the homelessness crisis and those fighting every day to survive outdoors. They just want the problem to go away, but what that means is people going away and people don't go away. People are here, and so they become invisible. Sad to see people that have such gifts and um, humor and creativity and resilience be made into something that they're not. Davidson is clear that people experiencing homelessness, addiction disorders and mental health issues did not choose it. And while people debate how to fix the problem, hundreds are being left out in the cold. Natalie Sturgeon, Global News, Fredericton.